Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hi, this is Rachel Barnett from Gentle Frog. In this video, I want to show you how to invoice sub customers and have it bill back to the parent customer. So let's go ahead and start with that. I've gone to get to the screen, I've gone to sales and then to customers and I've gone down to my primary customer, which is a customer and my sub customer that is job A. I know that job A will bill, I will show up on the statements and so forth for a customer because that's what I've set up in the settings. To verify that, I'm going to go to job A, I'm going to click edit on the right. And I'm just going to look down here and I can see where it says bill parent customer. That's how I know that it will bill the parent customer. So let's go ahead and make an invoice. To make an invoice, I'm going to go to plus new in the upper left hand corner. I realize I could have gone to new transaction on the right, but I'm old and old habits die hard. So I'm going to go to customers and then invoice. I'm going to choose job A. And then for product or service, I'm just going to pick, oh, you know what? Let's pick services, make it a little more interesting. Um, so we'll type in a description of cool stuff and we'll make it 199. I'm going to do a save and new because I want to do the same thing for a job B. So then I can show you how it all kind of combines together. So we'll go here and this one will be ours. More fun stuff. And we'll make that 129. I'm going to make them slightly different just so you can tell them apart. So now I can see job A, there's an invoice for $199 and job B, there's an invoice for $129. And if I go to the parent customer, if I go to A customer, I can see both of my invoices appear on this list. They both appear on the list because job A and job B are sub customers of a customer. So a customer is in charge of paying the bills for job A and job B, but for whatever reason, I want to keep them separate. I have the ability to do that. Let me show you what this looks like in terms of a statement. For example, if a customer said, Hey, this is great. Send me a statement. I'll send you a check. I'm over here at a customer. I can see my invoices. In the upper right hand corner, I'm going to click new transaction. I'm going to go down to statement. If you've never looked at this, I, I encourage you to look at it, but there's three different kinds of statements here. The first one is a balance forward statement. Let's click on print or preview at the bottom of the screen. So here it is. The balance forward is zero, two invoices. Life is good. I'm not really going to print that out. The other one I can send is an open item statement. So let's go print or preview. Here's my open item, so it's slightly different. I click cancel. Ah, I canceled one too many things. I really want you to see all three of these. And then transaction statement. I realize you could test this on your own, but I'm here, I might as well show you. And then there's that one. One of these statements is likely to be the statement that you have in mind that you want to send to your customer. When you're ready to send it, you can click save and send and send it as an email. Uh, I can't send it as an email because I didn't put a fake email address in for my customer. The other option is to print it and mail it. The thing that I have not figured out, but there should or could be a way to do this, is I have not figured out how to generate some sort of payment link so that a customer can pay one time, click a button, pay with credit card, pay both of the jobs. That I haven't figured out yet. So hopefully this has been helpful. I really wanted you to see how to create invoices for your sub customers, how you can see it combine or roll up or appear into the parent customer, and how to generate a statement for the parent customer so you can ask the main provider to send a check to cover all the open invoices. I hope this video has been helpful. Please don't hesitate to leave a note in comments if there's anything that we can answer for you or help you with. If you'd like to see step-by-step -step instructions, a link to our blog post with images will be provided in the description of this video. Thank you so much. We appreciate you.